Hello everyone and welcome back to another Green Man Travels adventure and today we're on a new mod map, Court Farm Country Park. Now I'm pretty certain most people who are familiar with farming simulator based games, either 22 or previous, will know the uh, modder of this map, Oxygen David, very very well and they're very excited about this map. Now I know this map's been out a little time on a few other YouTube content creators channels so um, it may have been seen by a few of you already but uh, let's run through some of the information on ModHub. So it uh, dropped today on ModHub on the 12th of the 7th, 2023. It's on a version 1.0.0.0. It's only gonna work on PC and Mac at the moment. And um, I think from looking at other content creators information, it is potentially coming to console a little later on. Um, it's 950.92 megabytes to download. It's made by, as I said earlier, um, a pretty much a legend of the mapping uh, modders, which is Oxygen David. So um, yeah, let's run through some more of the information. So it is apparently based on a real farm in Banwall, Somerset in the UK. So that's quite a long, long way away from where I am. Um, it's actually got a replica of the real life farm and surroundings. It's got a real life PDA map, which I think means the uh, background of of here is probably uh, either off of some mapping software like GIS or something or Google Google Earth etc. Um, it's got some new animals as well so the first time I've ever seen this on a uh, FS22 map or I think even a farming simulator map but it's got rabbits so that's pretty cool. It's got some custom wind effects as well which I have seen on other YouTube creators channels and they look amazing. There's four main farms and many more small, smaller farms. There's a lot of custom lighting and colour grading, and to be honest with you, you can see it when you look around the map. And there's some nice animated objects across the map. There's a lot of custom textures, um, uh, custom texture PBR with parallax mapping. Well, I'm not quite sure what that means, but to modders that probably means quite a lot. Um, there's custom traffic, and you can actually see some custom traffic there. That's a cement mixer lorry, so that's really, really cool. There's over a hundred new HD models that have been made specifically for this map by Oxygen David. The uh, farm land itself is like there's 144 fields. There's 207 pieces of farmland. There's three placeable areas where you can build your own productions or farms. There's nine sale points with like BGA, sawmill, etc. There's some uh, seasonal seasonal visual changes apparently with the trees and hedges which are custom. There's some collectibles, so that's really good. There's very highly customizable UK license plate built, built into the map. There is a custom foliage and ground textures, custom sounds, and there's an interior farmhouse, which we will run through uh, in a few moments. It's got precision farming support, so that's absolutely brilliant. There's also the mud mod support as well. So um, I've not run this myself, but uh, it looks pretty fun. There is actually a UK theme production point. So there's the windmill and the bakery. There's, a new, there's some new fruits as well and uh, crops. So there's linseed, hill beans, rye, alfalfa. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's a campsite as well, which is very, very unusual, but I think that's a really nice idea. And apparently you can buy it and it can generate money. Um, there's also some smaller farmyards and smaller areas that you can buy that need to be cleaned out. So a bit of a, a mission there for you. And the rabbits that are on the map are actually in the wildlife as well, so they run around as well as the deer. So, pretty impressive to say the least. Um, what we'll do, as always, we'll go back down to Earth and uh, have a look in the starting farm and see what we get. As you can see, we don't start with an awful lot of equipment, a couple of medium tractors. We've got the John Deere 4755 190 horsepower tractor. We've got the Mass Ferguson MF3670 170 horsepower. Both of these seem to be like brand new as well, so that's nice. We've got a nice new Holland CH770 combine that's also been slightly modded so it can do the alfalfa, the uh, linseed, uh, field beans, and the rye. So uh, that's good to see. We've got a telehandler. We've got a nice uh, crumpy half pipe HP20 trailer, which I think has also been modified so it can take the custom crops. Yep. We've got the nice 25 foot or 7.5 meter New Holland Superflex header. We've got an Agramash POV 5XL plow, which is two and a half meters. We've got the Horsch Tirano 3FX three meter cultivator. 
We've got the KUHN HR4040 4 meter power harrow and the KUHN Venter 4030 cedar that uh, goes on top of that and that can obviously then put in your custom crops. We've got the Amazon ZA TS 3200 fertilizer spreader. Now again this one only does fertilizers so just be careful of that. We've got the KUHN GMD 4411 4.4 meter finger bar mower and we've got KUHN VB 3190 baler as well. We've got a few bits of uh, telehandle tools. We've got the Magsy bale fork. We've got two of those actually. And we've got the Magsy manure fork as well. We've got the header trailer to go with the combine. And we've got two weights. We've got the Class W900, which is a 900 kilogram weight. Then we've got the Agco uh, 650 weight as well. So that's pretty good. So this is actually our starting farm here in New Farm Load. I've got a little bit more money than normal because I've been buying some of the other land just to uh, be able to show you some of the other farmyards. So if we start quickly in this house, which is absolutely awesome. I mean, you can go in pretty much every single room and you can go upstairs. So there's one other way to cook getting. I think here is the uh, dining room with a nice, very nice Welsh dresser there. So uh, very, very British uh, kitchen here as well. Quite a nice farmhouse kitchen with another area there for friends to eat. If we go upstairs quickly, we then have a couple of places. We've got the uh, bathroom, got a uh, bit of a study there, got a bedroom. I think there's some collectibles in there. There's a toilet through there. And across the landing, we've got the master bedroom, which has got your sleep trigger. So that's pretty cool. We've got another ensuite here, so this house is very posh, but it's a bit like a Jack and Jill bathroom that is actually, with two different bedrooms having access, so that's pretty cool. We go downstairs, we go out of this back door, and um, we've got a dog kennel as well, so that's cool. Let's have a quick look around the rest of the farm, so we've got a nice garage there, there's a couple of collectibles I've spied already. I must admit, I think the custom lighting and the textures, you can definitely tell. It's very very bright and everything looks very very clean and very detailed so first off we've got some rabbits this is actually where you get rabbits on the farm itself so that's pretty cool and you've got a rabbit hutch here as well so look at that that's very very nice we'll just run through some of the other bits on the farm so this is the where we went into the house a minute ago so we've got some animal pens there and this is like some of the storage as well so pretty nice layout of the farm actually a bit tight in places i think but uh really generally really nice all your starting equipment's like in these two sheds and there's like two different ways to get in as well so that's pretty good you got back way here with your telehandle and then you've got a, a nice silo looks quite worn as well so that's uh that's really good so if we then just go back to where we were and just run through the animals we've got actually so on the main menu we get um, home farm cows court farm sheep pigs chickens rabbits cows and horses now not all of them are on right here so if we go here you'll see you've got the sheep you've got the horses you've got the rabbits and the pigs and i think you've got the chickens uh, chicken and the cows which are all on this farm they're all different sizes i think they're custom as well so let's do a quick check those out very very quickly so court farm chickens 50 which is very very nice i think there's the cow so it's a 50 head cow barn no custom uh, cows species themselves so that's uh, pretty standard and then if we go over here i think the horses are here yeah we've got 10 head um for horses and then over here we'll have the sheep i believe yep yeah, 100 head sheep and they do actually need water as well on a water trigger because they're in a meadow so i think if i remember rightly then it just leaves us the rabbit which we've seen and the pigs so that's good so if we find the pigs quickly let's see if we can just travel there quick there we are very nice very british uh pig styles those as well so this is actually out the front of the house so missed that straight away that's a 70 head so pretty good though um 
quite really impressed with the with the uh, custom animals though with the uh, different environments and that especially with the rabbits that's pretty cool so i'm not quite sure what you can do with the rabbits though whether you can sell them or whether you can do something with them but or whether you can just keep them as pets so just something a bit uh, different and a bit unique to the map which is nice so if we have a quick look at what we actually start with field wise so in new farm mode we actually start with the area here 49 which is where your main farm is and you've got um Field 46, or Farm 46, 40, 48, and 133. So uh, quite a lot of um, big areas as well. So if we look at those, it's got nothing in 57, uh, Field 57. And we've got, what have we got in there? Right, okay, we've actually just got, I would say, wheat. Yeah, so I feel stuck with wheat, and then we've got some grass pastures as well in 54. And also um, 133 there as well. We also get home farm cows as well. Okay, didn't see that for a start. So this is another one that we start with. It's a hundred head one that one. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, another potentially like another farm area, which is uh, very nice, very big as well actually. Nicely laid out as well. So that's cool. Uh, a silage pit, yep, nice silage pit there as well, and a big open, semi-open barn, so that's really cool. So back to the map, so yeah, we do own quite a lot of land to start with. Um, as you can see on the PDA itself, the map is, um, yeah, it's very, very impressive. There's an awful lot of field down uh, around the top here and down here. The road network is um, really, really quite um, complex actually there's an awful lot of tracks in between the fields there's the main road that runs up outside your farm and runs all the way up to the top of the map and there's lots of other big trunk roads off as well and this major road coming down here so obviously you've got some uh, areas of uh, the town you've got in around here in 171 down here as well so uh, it does mean that there's uh, going to be quite a lot of driving on this map as well which you know for some people is quite good um, in Farmland 72, there's something quite unique over there, actually. We will see that a bit later. So, right, moving on to... I did say that there's custom crops, and there is. There is um, a slightly altered crop calendar as well. As you can see, you can actually um, plant wheat, barley, canola and oats um, in the spring. So that's pretty good. And the um, time to harvest has slightly been altered. But... As you can see, you also get the linseed, the rye, the field bean and the alfalfa, just for some things a little bit different. Um, cell points on the map, there's an awful lot of them, which is never a bad thing in my opinion. So that's really, really good. Um, if we go down and have a quick look at what we can actually uh, produce on the map. Doesn't seem to be many, um, there doesn't seem to be any of the premium or platinum expansion, sorry. Um, products that you can produce but that kind of makes sense really but uh, obviously you've got your uh, linseed rye field bean alfalfa and alfalfa hay so that's good so that sells for 1200 tops that's 1100 that's 4100 it's probably the same as soy actually soybeans 4188 let's have a quick look at soybeans in a second i always like to just look at this quickly to see if it's a uh, good thing to do Three seven. Okay, so potentially, if your field beans um, either yields the same or more than soy um, soybeans, then that could be a really interesting and a really uh, lucrative crop for people on this map. We've run through all the uh, animals. Contracts are well, yeah. There's an awful lot of fields. Awful lot of people own a lot of fields, so a lot of contracts. Um, different. Uh, amounts of rewards but um, definitely good for someone starting off on this map and also for doing a bit of grinding so that's really good you don't start with any production chains and that's pretty much it so uh, i think what we'll do if we just run through what's actually on the map itself when it comes to sale points and production so you actually start here um kind of in the center of the map but not quite but um yeah in uh, in kind of like a central area so if we start down here We've got uh, Sophie's Sweet Treat Bakery. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I quite like that. If we go there then, just because it's a bit of a custom production. 
Can we buy it? Don't think so. Well, we can actually, no, give me a second. Let's not get to, let's have a look. Oh, well, you don't look like Sophie, but you're animated. So that is really, really cool. So 55,000, that's not bad. That's pretty cool though. I do like that. And I do like you got a, uh, a nice, cool looking guy there with, uh, has he got a bandana on? Yeah, bandana and shades. Um, didn't think it was that bright in here, but oh well, maybe it is. But at least you can buy that. Quite a lot of animation there. It's a nice bit of custom animation with the smoke coming from the chimney. The buildings are really impressive, to be honest with you. And just, there's an awful lot of detail on this map as well. So hats off to Oxygen David. It's a really, really impressive map. Um, I do like the custom traffic as well as it goes through. Um, it's a very British map. I mean, the yeah, just everything's very, very British. Things like these uh, markers at the side of the roads. Uh, the roads have got grass verges everywhere as well. So, yeah. Oh, wheelie bin as well. I've not seen one of those on a map before. So that's pretty good. So, um, yeah. Hats off to Oxford and David. This map's very impressive. So back to the main PDA. So that was the uh, bakery. We've got uh, town stores down here. Another town stores for the bales. And as you can see, we've got lots and lots of smaller fields up here, which is probably going to be quite good for expanding your farm. And then we've got folly down bales, folly down stores, the sawmill, another sawmill, uh, the long meadow bales, long meadow stores, garden centre bales, and the garden centre. So that's on that side. And up here we've got farmer's market bales, farmer's market, a lime station, an animal dealer, top corner, the debris crusher, pine creek stores, pine creek bales, a biogas plant, let's visit that quickly, always like to see how much the biogas plant is to buy, 880,000 so not bad actually, that's pretty good, um, we've got the store here, the vehicle shop, and then we've got the other vehicle shop workshop, so that's good. Uh, we've got the Tall Tree Store Bay 1, Tall Tree um, Bales, and the Tall Tree Store itself. When we come down, that's all there. That's the Sweet Treats Bakery. And if we come up here, Valley View Bales, Valley View Stores, the Grain Mill, which I think is a custom one. Yes, look at that. It is a very much a custom um, production for this map that's in the mod description. So that's really, really good. That's a very impressive looking model as well for a windmill in the UK. Pretty good. And the sounds. Listen to that. It's amazing with the sails going round. Very, very impressive once again. Can we go inside? We can. Guessing we can't see any of the mechanical workings of the windmill though. Because if we could, that would be amazing. Oh, we can only get to this, this point. That's a shame. Let's have a quick look. Can I get to this like uh, veranda porch thing? But still, very, very impressive. So we'll just jump down from there. I hope we won't do ourselves any damage, but you never know. Can we buy this then or not? I don't think we can. It'd be good if you could, though, because that'd be an absolutely wicked um, addition to your productions, wouldn't it, really? Not in there, there isn't. No. Okay. Oh, well. That's fine. So... Up here, this is where the other farm was. We've got the uh, silo for home farm, we've got petrol tank, and we've got the home farm cows. We've then got Valley View stores, we've done that one. And I think, yep, that's pretty much all the productions and sale points on the map that you can have. So if we just put ourselves back in uh, flight mode moment, because I'm just going to go to that other area that I spotted on my first tour. You find it. Don't get our heads chopped off by the windmill. That would be a good idea as well. So, where are we? We are there. We need to be going over here. Because I did spot when I was doing my quick tour of the map before I started this video, there's a castle on the map. Here it is. I can just see it in the distance. So we'll get there in a second. And uh, yeah, it's something a little bit unusual and a little bit... Um, well, unique for this map. I don't 
know if it is a castle in real life in this area of Somerset where this film's based, but um, knowing Oxford and David, it probably is, to be honest with you. Um, I've never been down to this area of the UK, so I wouldn't be able to tell you that. So if we're just nearly there, there we are. But we're having a nice fly over everything as well. I mean, you can see the fields are completely different shapes and sizes, lots of verges and hedgerows and lots of tracks and bits and bobs. But yes, here is a castle. And I believe, if we check on the mini map, you can buy it. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's just, I'm gonna say, some very nice textures there as well. Some really, very, very impressive. Yeah, actually I do recognize this castle. I don't know what it is, but I do kind of recognize the look of it from historical uh, documents and things like the National Trust. So probably is a uh, real place, a real castle down in Somerset. So, but again, something very nice and unique on this map. So I think we may as well finish as always with our field prices. So if we wanted to buy the castle, it cost us 9.681 million. Well, that'd be pretty cool though, to say you're a farmer with a castle. Um, not sure you'd want to build your farm there though, but you could do, I suppose, lots of land around it. So 75,000 on for that one, 72,000 for that, 65 for that, 73 for there. So if we wanted to expand our field near the starting farm, uh, 38 for there, 206, 77. 50s, 49,000, that's pretty good. This big grass area, 162, so that meadow. So yeah, a chance with you, the, the field prices are pretty good. I mean, 162 is a very big piece of uh, farmland. It's only 256,000, so yeah, that's pretty good. 421,000 for there. So can we find the biggest area on the map? That's probably 165. Um, yeah, 122, 452. Yeah, so it's not bad though, less than half a million for some of the biggest fields. So that's pretty good, I think. It's definitely, definitely a map you could do some very impressive expansion on. So very, very good. Now we're back at the main farm. Um, all I can say is really impressed with this map. Um, the level of detail is very impressive. And obviously I think most people expected a map of this caliber from Oxford and David, and I don't think he's disappointed to be honest with you. So. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, subscribe to the Greyman channel, and I hope to see you again soon. Many thanks.